The tradition of the Yule Log at Wawona stretches far back into the dim mists of time, roughly December of 2013. It was then that certain elves determined that, to quote one of them who wishes to remain anonymous, we can do pomp and pageantry just as well as that other big old hotel. So the elves went about finding a suitable old tradition. One elf suggested dressing up as Krampus, the Austrian companion of Santa Claus, who roams the streets looking for someone to beat with a stick. This elf was quickly dismissed. A homesick elf from South Africa fondly recalled how, on Christmas Day, they'd give the children deep-fried caterpillars. The other elves politely said they'd think it over. A Greenlandic elf, not to be outdone, offered to make a traditional feast of kiviak, which he enthusiastically explained consisted of 500 dead auk birds stuffed into a seal skin and left to ferment for seven months. The Latvian elf proposed his ancient tradition of leaping through the flames of a bonfire at midnight. An awkward silence ensued. After several elves proposed even more disturbing old traditions, one suggested having a Yule goat. And after some discussion about the scarcity of goats in Wawona and the relative ubiquity of logs, they settled on the Yule log. The Yule log tradition is thought by some to have its roots in Germany, but some believe it came from Norway. In 1725, Henry Bourne wrote that the log is an emblem of the returning sun and the increase of its light and heat. These days, our elves are happy to share this emblem of the returning sun with all of us at the Wawona Hotel. Time for Jingle Bells. Page 14 in your hymnals. And if you don't have one, just sing along with the captions. Ready? Okay, I'll start with the chorus, just so you can get warmed up. Is that a word, upsot?
happy holidays, everybody. See how that sounds. Well, watch out for those candles. Yeah, yeah, I think it, it almost set my jacket on. That's what I was. Thank you.